नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज योग गुरु सुनील सिंह एंड आई एम फाउंडर योगा लवर ट्रस्ट टुडे आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट प्राणायामा व्हाट इज प्राणायामा हाउ इट कैन बी डन व्हाट आर द चेकलिस्ट यू आर सपोज टू फॉलो एवरीथिंग आई टेल यू इन डिटेल प्राणायामा means प्राण plus आयाम control expansion extension of your prana is called pranayama prana in india known as prana in japan they call it ki in china they call it chi and in entire western world they call it bioenergy there are many people who get confused that prana is the breath the breath we are taking in and out and that is prana to clear your myth it is not prana pran is more subtler than breath no doubt it moves with the breath in and out all over the body with the help of breath but it is more subtler why you and me everybody should practice pranayama what are the procedure and everything i'll tell you in detail prana urja in our body if you increase more prana urja in your body you tend to remain healthy whole life because prana urja activate your entire endocrine system it is good for your lungs heart brain everything in your body but how we can increase prana urja in the body the question is this first of all pranayama or pran anybody can uh, you know practice right from 8 to 100 years but subject to you must get perfection in particular asanas although ashtanga yoga says there are eight limbs yam niyam asan pranayam pratyahar dharana dhyan samadhi you have to uh, go systematically you have to follow the path one by one but a normal uh, sadhak jigyasu and practitioner i will just tell you first of all you have to master your asanas any asanas because pranayam can be practiced in padmasan siddhasan vajrasan sukhasan the way i am sitting right now so you can practice while practicing pranayama you have to make it a point that you should be empty stomach ideally if you practice in the morning that will be much better if you don't have time in the morning you can practice in the evening also and you got to keep your stomach should be empty or in the evening if you are practicing at least 3 hours before you must have taken your meal and then you can practice you got to keep your spine straight you have to be aware what you are basically doing what you are going to do it everything you have to be aware sitting upright whether you are sitting in sukhasan or you are sitting in padmasan or vajrasan you have to sit upright initially you got to close your eyes facing east is ideal if you don't have a space then west is also good but facing south is not good so initially what you have to do it you have to close your eyes and bring your awareness only on your breathing in and breathing out pranayam got three very important aspect and that is called inhalation purak holding that is kumbhal kumbhak exhalation that is rechak so you have to remember the uh, three aspects about pranayama and then you can go you can proceed further so initially i will just tell you basic about uh, nadi shodhan pranayam how we can do it you got to keep your spine straight there are two mudras while perf- performing pranayama one is vishnu mudra this is called vishnu mudra other is prana mudra so you can practice with the vishnu mudra or it is entirely up to you you want to practice with the prana mudra or pranayama mudra 
you have to inhale from your left nostril counting four without holding exhale from your right nostril counting four inhale from the right nostril counting four exhale from the left nostril counting four this is called nadi shodhan pranayam the basic the first step in the second step what you will be doing it you will be breathing in counting four holding it for counting four exhalation counting four inhalation counting four holding counting four exhalation counting four this is the second step third step what you'll be doing get breathing in counting four holding counting four exhalation counting four inhalation counting four holding counting four exhalation counting four and let the uh, breath remains out counting four then you can start again so this is a basic pranayam what is the advantage you are going to have from this particularly pranayama it purifies all the you know 72000 veins in our body it uh, it balances our vat pitt kaf tri dosha in the body wonderful with the people who are suffering from snoring high blood pressure heart problem because lot of oxygen comes into our system and the body throws out maximum carbon dioxide and physical level in the mental level body throws out all the negativity all the uh, energy which is uh, uh, giving you trouble everything is coming out so this you can practice at least 5 minutes every day i'm talking about the first one first step rest as you start practicing it slowly slowly if you get perfection if you think that you are uh, you got you are perfect so you can uh, hold and do the kumbhak also but initially you got to practice at least 2 3 months the basic counting left from the left nostril exhaling right uh, counting four from the right nostril inhaling uh, right from the right and exhaling from the left this is a basic which i am talking about other i just want to share with you so that you should know what basically you are supposed to do all these things you have to keep in your mind people who are suffering from high blood pressure heart problem pregnant women they are not supposed to hold their breath through this video i have shared a basic about pranayama and in the next episode i'll try to explain about each and every pranayama so that the people who are watching these videos they can understand how to do it what are the contraindication method benefits etc thank you very much namaste